In 2022, Z-Grills upgraded the 700D4E, and the 700D4E is their flagship, so let's go through it and see what they've upgraded. The assembly on this pit was super easy. It only takes about an hour and one person can do it, but it never hurts to get a little extra help because it can speed up the process. The first initial startup, or as I call it, burn-off on the Z-Grills 700D4E, it's pretty simple, but there's a few steps that they want you to follow. But the way they write their procedure, you know that when it comes time to cooking, this pit's gonna work. To give a complete review, you truly have to cook on a pit a few times. For the first cook, I did a simple whole smoked chicken and that yard bird was filled with some juice. And of course, it was tender and tasty. The second cook, I smoked up some spare ribs and man, did those have a beautiful smoky color. And they were also very juicy and tender. And on the last test cook, I smoked up a couple chuck roasts and I was super impressed with that smoke ring that this little Z Girls developed. So as far as the cooking goes, this little pit did a great job. Let's get into the walk around review on the 700 D4E and talk about some features. It has a 20 pound hopper. I really like how they flange out the top because that's where you're able to get all the way up into that 20 pounds. And because it's sloped, the pellets head right down into that auger. Now I have not seen any piling or what I like to call it log jams during any of the low and slow cooks that I did on this pit. Now one of the updates for this pit is you have a pellet dump and that's truly a great feature if you store your pellet grill outside. Plus it makes it a lot easier to change out your pellets if you want to change to a different smoke flavor. As long as we're on the hopper, we might as well talk about the new PID controller. It has a cooking temperature range of 180 up to 450 degrees. But when I was running it on the smoke setting, it ran right around 170 degrees. Now for a lot of you out there that don't know what a PID stands for, it's proportional integral derivative. To put it in layman's terms, it reads and reacts. It's gonna see what that temperature is and it's gonna decide if it's gonna add pellets or hold off. This pit does not come with Wi-Fi, but it does come with two meat probes so you can visually monitor your cook. You know the saying, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Let's get into the chamber. We have 697 square inches of cooking space. We have 504 square inches on the bottom rack and 193 on this single top rack. These grates are porcelain coated and that helps scraping off debris on those grates a lot easier. The cleanup procedure on the 700 D4E, it's just like every single pellet grill that doesn't have a removable fire pot. It's just nice to have a detachable fire pot and I hope eventually Z Grills follows the trend. As far as the smoke production on this pit, it does pretty good in the smoke mode. It still smokes if you're cooking at like 250 degrees, but it is a little lighter. But I certainly cannot complain about the smoke profile that I got off from those first three cooks. After the third cook on those chuck roasts, I did have a little bit of aug burn and the smoke was starting to come back out of the hopper but it did stop quickly and it didn't burn all the way through the auger I like that the 700 D4E has this bottom storage cabinet it's great that these doors are magnetized because they'll stay shut and it's also a perfect place to store some pellets or any of your cooking supplies that you want to keep next to this pit at all times the front casters are lockable and that's great because once you get it in place, it ain't gonna move. This pellet grill is made for like a family of four to six. With this size, you can easily entertain some friends or cook for the week for the family. Now, a couple cons that I have about the 700 D4E is that when you're running this pit, it likes to leak a little smoke. I hope to see that they eventually start to add like a seal on that lid. This is one thing that I do want to show you that you have to watch out when you're opening the lid. I hope this shows up on film, but when I was doing those chuck roasts, I just barely burnt myself. And that's because they have this handle set too high. It should be dropped down so you had a little bit more clearance when you pick it up. So be careful because you can see it's easy to get a little bit of a boo-boo. Little things like that happen to me too, even if I run these pits all the time. One thing I'd like to see them add is the five degree increments to this PID controller. But the controller runs nice and steady and at least it has the popular temp sets 
that I like to use. I also love it that they put along with this pit a cover. I wish more pellet grill manufacturers did this. Yeah, you're gonna have to charge a little bit more, but throw it in the box because a lot of people have their pellet grills stored outside. And to go search and try to find a cover that fits your pit at a box store is a nightmare. So just put it in a box, give it to us. And one kind of nitpick that I have, I wish this pit had a cord wrap. There's nothing worse than having to kind of wrap it up on here and get it so when I move the pit, it's not falling down and I'm hitting it with a caster. If you're just leaving it in one spot, it doesn't matter at all. My final thoughts on the Z Grill 700 D4E is positive. This is a great entry level pellet grill and it's priced right. The build quality, it's pretty comparable to a lot of the Traegers that are built in that same size. For more information, check the description below for pricing and a more in-depth written review from Smoked Barbecue Source. Plus, if you got any questions or you just want to tell us what your experience has been with the 700 D4E, leave a comment below. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video.